So today I'm looking at the big book of battle mats from Loki Battle Mats. Now I don't have an affiliate link. This video is not sponsored, but they did send me this for free. However, that doesn't affect the review. And truth be told, I chased them for a free review products because I genuinely use their stuff every session. So as usual, we've got we've got the dry erase plasticky coated paper, the ring binding, which makes it very easy for you to throw down singular maps. Now you might recognise the title, Big Book of Battle Mats, but this is Rex and Ruins specifically. And also there's a theme going on. So this first page does bleed over here where the grass runs out. It doesn't make a sense in one way of looking at it, like there's the, the river water runs out, but it could because this could be really high up. And so it could literally curl around there anyway. Yeah, they've tried to blend it together and, you know, any complaints, you're on a beach near the sea and there's a ruined ship. Good stuff. Now, out of the small one, I was particularly happy with having some sort of a ship, but this is a better version and bigger and therefore I'm very much on board with, pardon the pun. But yeah, I, I would like more of this kind of idea where you get some vehicles in, where you can use as complete one-offs. Some kind of ruin where you can go down to wherever, like it, or come up from a dungeon and you will come up here. A stone circle which you could use as a fairy ring, a summoning ritual area. Can be used, you know, in conjunction with other products of theirs. So they do work on themes, which I do like. So if you are building out with different products of theirs, it just, the options, you know, really do go up. So a stream with a... A log. I like these cut off trees. I do have miniature trees, so I, I plonk them on these placements. A waterfall from this direction down, so this bit's lower. Again, there's a few more with these tree areas, which I, I, I really like. Nice little housey bit, and I like the, the height changes. Huge tree you can get in, and maybe that acts as a portal or a witch's cottage. Again, I like to be able to add terrain pieces or, you know, models of some sort. Various ones that I've got anyway. I can plonk on there, statues and stuff. Some sort of parkour kind of area to who knows where in a semi-jungle. More Aztecian, if that's a word, kind of design. The way these bleed off, it's just, it matches up with other products of theirs, even bigger than this book, which I love. I just haven't seen anyone else make maps better than these, really. I love that fallen statue and par of it submerged. Swamp land with raised structure. Swamp land which, which can attach one area to another. And also it's a good size for having, you know, ranged encounters. This is sometimes a little too small, but to, to join up various books of this, because I'd, I'd have more than one of the same products, that's what I like. If I found myself with two of these, or three of these books, or even four, it would still work wonderfully. Some sort of battlements. Again, if I had another book, I would use the previous page with this page. And you can see it's designed nicely to be singular too. An interconnecting tunnel, ideal for an ambush. Again, you go on from the ambush in the same area, but the locale is different looking. Very important to the consumer that you have all these different areas, swamp, jungle, Aztec, whatever, and snow in one book so that if you're DMing away, you can just pick up and play really. And you've got all these different areas. Again, you've got sort of good ambush spots as you get into a town or an encampment. Lootable areas, similar idea, but we're out in the desert wilds or the wastelands. You know, echoing ideas, but putting it in different settings. I am all for it. So you might think, oh, this is ringing a bell, but they're not, they're not the same. They just add on to a theme, giving you, you know, the possibility to have whole one-shots or sessions in the same vibe. A giant skull, it's, it's inspiration, isn't it, for what you can have in your adventure. Again, submerged underwater setting. And this is not to be sniffed at, because when you need to go off map, there is your palette to paint on. Something I really appreciate, the quick key to look at, just a brand to own for every DM, I would say. I love maps, I love 
their work. I want basically to collect every single thing they've ever made. So no affiliate link, but check them out.